Hi, I just wanted to do a short video on subroutines. Um, I'm not an expert on subroutines. In fact, I'm actually a beginner. But sometimes it's good to learn from a beginner. They don't use advanced jargon or have advanced confidence. And um, I used to get my CAM program to produce my code for me. And um, I've been a bit remiss in learning to hand code. But I needed to, to learn subroutines for this particular job I've got coming up in a few days where I've got to cut a complicated 3D profile um, on a uh, cylindrical part which needs to be rotated and the program repeated in several different um, rotational axis stations. Um, and I could just copy and paste and then put in an A command to rotate the dividing head and so on um, over and over again but that's really a bit of a cop out it's not an elegant solution so I've been doing a bit of study and trial and error and for the purpose of uh, trying it out I've just got a simple slot so if you imagine I'm cutting a series of slots um, and rotating the A axis each time so it's just an X move and a Z clearance move um, and then a rotation move. So let's have a look at the program in Pathpilot. Okay, let's go File, Edit G Code, and have a look at the program. Where's my glasses? Okay, so at the start of the program, you just have your normal starter block, you know, your G90, G80, G21, and so on, pertinent to your job. Um, and uh, tool number and S number and so on. Now we've got our first relevant command here which is G0 A0 so that's um, a rapid move on the A axis to 0. Okay so now we're going to start the uh, subroutine content. So in this case we've got a, sh a short program here with some X and Z moves. Um, we need to call this program a name and and this line here O, the letter O and a number, an integ integrator, um, a whole number so you could call it 1, I've just called it 3. So you have O, 3 and you need to put in sub, SUB. And at the end of the program again O and your program number and end sub. Okay, so that, that is the sort of beginning and end um, code for your program that makes it a subroutine. Now, if you want to call that subroutine, you put O3 call and then a command, in this case it's an A rotation. So we, we put in G0 A90 degrees. Then you put in your O3 call again and uh, so then it'll rerun the program and then um, G0 A180 turning it turning the axis 180 degrees and it seems a little strange that sequence but believe me I've tried other sequences and it just throws up error messages so uh, I may be missing something here please post your comments or um, improvements if you can give any advice but this does work um, without error message so it must be basically correct. Okay, so let's just run that now and see if I can talk it through as we go. Okay, so we're going to push cycle start. And the first thing that's going to happen is that the work's going to turn around on the A-axis to position 0 degrees. And when it gets there, so that's what's currently being processed, G0, A0. Then we we've started the content of the subroutine which is the Z and then the X moves and when it gets to the end of that little set of commands we'll get O0 and um, it's going faster than I could read it out but what then happened was that it's rotate it's called for uh, an O3 call and uh, turning it 90 degrees and then go back into the O3 sub again. So it's running the program again and it's now going to turn it to the 180 degrees. 
So that's basically all you need. Um, just those simple instructions and then you can use subroutines for operating your A-axis and um, machining the same program repeatedly around it.